so I'm back and this time we're gonna take a look at the Air Jordan 11s and this is in the Concord colorway in my size which is 4Y so let's take a look so here you have the shoe this is the 2018 release of the shoe so almost two years ago this dropped in um, December super nice still dead stock which is you know never worn before for those who are unfamiliar with that term never even put my foot in them before you got just shoelaces are still tied up by the manufacturer here let's move past that and then you got the Nike air imprinted on the insoles super nice so this is the remastered version from the 1995 release um, that means you got all the same features you got the 45 on the back you got the jump man going left the same cut and the thick rope laces so true OG form which is great and then here you got the ballistic mesh upper it's super nice so this is like a really durable material here it's almost 3d like if I like move it around you can see that it's really cool and then you got the black patent leather all around it's like a little wave to it it's super shiny you can see the reflection here there's a verse by J. Cole and he says um you shine like the patent leather on my new 11s so it's true it's super shiny it's really nice let's take a look at the bottom so the outer sole here um, you can see it's translucent and so you got the jump man coming through and the reason why these are called conquers is because of the conquered grape accent color here so you got it at the bottom the top and bottom of the outer sole and you have it here on this jump man on the tag it's really nice and then you got the jump man on the left the outer left of the left shoe so it's gonna be on the outer right of the right shoe and the 45 in the back so the 45 represents Jordan's number when he came out of retirement the first time to start playing again in 1995 so that's when the shoe came out he rocked them on court during the 95 playoffs against I think the magic yeah against Orlando magic so that's when the shoe first was seen by the world it's great let's take a look at the right shoe So here's the right shoe. Super nice. So the jump man's on the outer right panel of the right shoe here. And let's see. So this right here is a carbon fiber looking um, pattern. And you can see it through coming through on the translucent sole here, but right on the arch, you could definitely see it. And what's interesting about this is that for a grade school size, you know, it looks more like carbon fiber right so when you think about souped up cars that has a carbon fiber hood or the spoiler you know it looks more closer to this but for men's um y'all sides has got this stretched out looking pattern and i'm not sure why um so it's not even like carbon fiber looking at that point it looks more like a checkerboard so i'm glad that the gs size came with this one instead so, and here, as I mentioned earlier, you got the thicker rope laces. Um, I'll do a comparison with the 2011 release in a second, but these are a lot thicker, um, which is true OG form. And then you got this tag here. So this tag, you can see between the laces. And then when you first look at them, it just, you know, if you read it from left to right, it's like, what is it saying? It's like some E's and Z's. You know, is it like something from Krypton? I don't know, but like, it's supposed to be read this way. So here, let's see if I can get a closer look. It says Jumpman Jordan. So that's that's what it says. It's nothing to decipher or decode. It's pretty interesting. But um, what's funny is that this Jumpman Jordan design is also on the imprint of preschool and toddler infant size shoes but it didn't get that you know for the, the the gs didn't get that same treatment for their soles the men's didn't either so it kind of sucks but it's super cute for the smaller sizes if you can ever take a look at those 
but yeah. But what sucks is that I've never worn these before, as you can see, you know, with all the laces still tied up, but it still got discolored, you know? This is what happens with these type of soles. So you see the discoloration here. Even though they're from the same freaking box, one shoe is significantly more yellow than the other. So I probably will do like a video on a tutorial on how to shrink wrap, you know, sneakers and stuff like that. But these definitely need to need something to preserve it a little bit more. But overall, super nice shoe. Let's take a look at the 2011 release. Put this away real quick. So here's a 2011 drop. Came in this, you know, standard grade school box. And I picked these up um, in a size three and a half, which is actually my true size. Um, but a lot of the videos you'll see, I'll be reviewing shoes in a size four because I've been able to hit on a size four a lot easier than a three and a half. Um, nine years ago, I was able to hit on three and a half. But these days, I just stick with a four. I think, I feel like the quantity is more for a size four, so it's easier for me to hit on them. And I can't, you know, get a size three and a half these days. I don't know who these, you know, 12 year old children are out here in these streets picking up size three and a half, but they're messing me up. But nine years ago, I was able to cop these. This released December 2011. Um, yeah, super nice still. I've only worn them a handful of times, so the, qual the quality is still intact. But the, you can see that there's the discoloration going on. So it's yellow here, significantly more yellow down here. This is what happens, you know, after nine years of being exposed to the elements and life and nature, this is what happens, right? But it still looks good. So besides, you know, around the closer um, edges of the conkers, but still nice if, you know, you see them on the side, you can barely tell. So let's do a comparison. So these are the differences. As you can see, 2011, the laces are significantly thinner than 2018. And then here, the Jumpman, one's going right and the one, other one's going left. So that's a major difference. And on the back, you can see one is a stack two, three, and the other one's a four or five, running from left to right. Let's see what we can do a side by side comparison with the cut. Maybe, you can, yeah, you could definitely see here you can see the 2018 version being higher than the cut from 2011. So, those are the, the major differences you know that you could see. But other than that, I still like my 2011 version. Um, I I'm not a fan of the super icy um, outer soles for these shoes um, that came out in 2018. So I still kept them looking pretty decent, except for probably the dullness right here. You can see that it's like not as shiny, but it's okay. That's what happens. You know, J. Cole didn't rap about you shine like the patent leather on my. 2011 Jordan 11s right so <laughs> it's still good so that so because these are still in pretty decent condition um, I wasn't even considering purchasing the 2018 um, conference that released so I was actually in Hawaii I was on vacation um, that December and I was like I'm not gonna check on the sneakers app I'm not even gonna try for I'm on, I'm on vacation mode I don't need to wake up early so that morning, I ended up just going to the market to pick up some food. Um, I went to a, a Mitsua store actually, which is a Japanese market inside of the international marketplace on Waikiki Strip. So I went in, got my samusubi, and I walked out and I realized that right next door was a Flight 23. For those who are not familiar with a Flight 23, it is the foot action store um, that sells strictly Jordan apparel and like gear and stuff like that. And so I walked in, there was barely anyone there, just super chill, just, you know, what you picture Hawaii to be like, people are just 
hanging out and stuff like that. And I came up to one of the sales reps and I asked like, hey, do you guys still have the Jordan 11s, um, the Concords in a size four? And he was like, yeah, I think so. Let me check the back. So he checked the back, he came back out with this box. And he was like, yeah, um, you want them? And I was like, damn, I guess I do. And so um, I was like, why not? Super easy to get. Um, I didn't need to wait in line or anything like that. I didn't even plan on picking them up, but they just like fell in my lap, you know? Um, and it was dope because it's like 4% sales tax out there. So to me, it's a come up, it was a steal. So I left the mall with some green shisho leaf spamasubis and the Concord 11s. So there you have it. So stay tuned and I'll show you all what they look like on feet. Hang tight.